and the point of marriage. As you can tell, if you dig beneath the surface of any of these arguments, if you look at Justice Kennedy's opinion in the marriage case, the point of marriage, at the end of the day, is personal fulfillment. It's your own emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. So that's what marriage is. It's a deep emotional romantic bond, and that's what it's for, your personal fulfillment. The other view of marriage, the traditional view of marriage, what I'm going to call the conjugal view of marriage, is pretty different from that. It says it's a union not just of emotion and not just of sexual interaction in general, but of heart, mind, and body, a comprehensive union. And it's oriented not just to whatever set of activities makes you feel better, but to family life. And because of that, it has certain objective principles of permanence and exclusivity and so on. And the point of it is not just personal fulfillment. There is a deep personal fulfillment available in that kind of total union with another human being. But it has a broader and a public purpose as well in the stability of family and through that all of the common good. All right, so those are the two visions. In this talk, I want to give you an argument that the revisionist view gets marriage wrong. Even before you point to the genesis, even before you look at same-sex parenting studies, even before you talk about the moral status of homosexual relationships, this view just gets marriage wrong, and you can show people that using common ground with them.